Hello everyone and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. This is a community cast that's featuring Challenger, who was the one who submitted it, as well as the Red Sky, who is his teammate, playing against Sips and Mega. Now it is Highway to Soul, the uh, two-player version, which we can see there's no third zone around the side, and it appears to be destruction to 4,000 points. So not my usual game mode, I do uh, enjoy conquest more than destruction, but hopefully we can get some good sort of observations made about this. Now, Challenger is playing as South Africa, that means Elan 90s, Rontal 20s, Casper Kid Cars, Cactus Sobs. All of this, I like it. I like it a lot. I would just say, maybe take a couple of Recolos Rifle Jeeps in the opener as well. They are incredibly good, and as cheap as the Eland 90 Recon... I mean, these guys are pretty cheap for what you're getting. It's very nice. But you can't beat 10-point Recolos Rifle Jeeps as a force multiplier, particularly in the early part of the game. I mean, I've seen them kill Super Heavies, even things like that. So it looks like Challenger's going to go left and Red Sky is going either right down the pipe or over into Golf. We'll have to see. And I do like this helicopter squad. I don't really use Beta 87s myself, but I've seen people use them to great effect. So basically what you get is, I believe, more rocket pods. Yep, twice as many rocket pods. And you also get two of those air-to-air -air missiles with 26, 25 meter range. The range is fine. It's just that the accuracy is so bad, I tend to find that one of them won't even kill something, so we see one hit there. Unless he lands the second one. He did, okay, so that's a kill. But, down goes the Beta 90, and I'm curious what this is. Oof, that's pretty rough. So starting off down 190 points to 20, and I'd like to have seen a couple more command vehicles out. You need it on destruction for income. So probably starting with, if it's 2v2, I'd start with at least three on one team just to get that. But this is why we play Wargame right here, ladies and gents. This is that colossal clash in the beginning of the game. Caspiers, Raptal 20s, I like this. They're not unloading, they're just using, I believe, relatively good stabilizers for, well, for auto cannons anyway. Hitting in pretty good rate of fire there, pretty good kills. And still, unfortunately, down a little bit as Mega is... Surprisingly, trading a little bit better here, but Unita should be able to do something about that. And I don't imagine those Hudao Ren are going to fare very well in the woods. So, looks like Challenger's at 210 to Mega's 300. Down a bit. Down a bit. That is enough in Destruction to, to make it so that it's... <laughs> within... Ooh, that's pretty nice. So it looks like we're missing some stuff over here. The Red Sky getting a couple kills. Let's zoom out just a little bit now that we've seen that big clash on the left. And it does look like a positional victory for Challenger, which can be just as important. So if he can lock this down, if he can get into Delta and Echo, I'd like to see these guys moving up. All of this needs to be going. Uh, so, I mean, this is nice. Getting through the closed arrow, getting through these mortars, that's all really good kills. But you need to be securing Delta. This stuff can't be stopped here. This book up 90, it should be up in these woods by now. You should have something in the town here. You should have the K cars sort of following up behind them. Um, it does look like your opponent did spread out a bit, too, so, I mean, pair of Pathfinders would be good for that. All of this is excellent. Just actually put it in the zone, please. Um, and that would do oh, even that much better than we've currently got. So, see here, here? That's an unfortunate snipe. These guys, I mean... Dang, look at that accuracy. Yeah, two shots, two pivots. That'll work for them, not for... Uh, Challenger's team here, and this is actually a bit worse than I thought, so Huda ran able to kill the Caster K cars, and the units that weren't in the right position to support, so you need to get these guys attack move, not just standing there. I guess that's probably my commentary so far, to be honest, is um, micro, which, I mean, I make a ton of micro mistakes, don't, don't get me wrong there, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything, I'm approaching it, but this stuff really needs to be moving before almost four minutes into the game. So, Cactus Soft coming down here, that should be a good kill on the 107. Maybe? Is the tree line going to block that? Oh, 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 okay. This could be good. So HMV, that means there's, uh, you should assume, a infantry command vehicle, especially because it didn't move. The woods is a good guess, that's a good guess. But it looks like, is that it? Yep. Yeah, 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 awesome. Awesome, awesome. So the infantry a little bit drunk there for the Red 4 team, and... Can they get it, or are those bombs going to be... Nice bomb, honestly. Nice bomb. But there's still one rental 20, and that's enough to kill command infantry. Maybe not panics? I really don't know. Uh, Cactus Soft, by the way, way too expensive to be up that far forward in a destruction game without support around it. Particularly when you know there's infantry in these woods, because they can spot into the open ground here. You need to be in cover, you need to have these guys already up and screening. 
And I think what's happening right now is we're seeing the dearth of income because base income on destruction, I believe, is smaller than base on um, on conquest unless you take another couple of zones. But there's the decap, 100 points for the blue four team. Yeah, that's very nice. If I mean, if you can do anything about the reinforcements that they've already called in here, then you can lock down this entire side of the map. So, oh man, this stuff just needs to go forward. Yeah, because if this stuff, so let's let's look at it. If everything here was already pushed up to Delta, then because this is now gone and there hasn't been all that much fighting over in Charlie, you could be taking SASF up to this tree line by now. You could be getting Bokop into these sections of town. You could basically be pushing the entirety of Bravo and then come in and cap it for yourself. Then you get land reinforcements on the left hand side and I mean, at that point it's basically over. Okay, so yeah, this is a problem. Samuel Cargo is captured by the Red 14 by Mega, who has gotten around. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on here either, so we've had pretty stationary gameplay on this side. I mean, Red Sky is getting kills. I think it's just. I think what's happening is uh, whenever Sips is headed for him, that's the Red 4 player on this side here, I think he's just getting kills by, by virtue of being difficult to push out, which. People do that on destruction, um, not necessarily my favorite way to play it, but I'm far too aggressive. So, and then sometimes that does come back to bite me, certainly, especially when I'm playing South Africa. And we do have some mobility here, so Rifleman getting out, Gurkha's 90, very unfortunate to have these guys caught in the woods, pretty expensive, very high performance, those Law 80s and mini -Mes, 15 strength shock, but they're very expensive for it, so 30 points per squad. Doesn't look like there was a kill, so the Rifleman need to still be moving up to get Vision. And that's going to be a problem, so Jumble Challenger 1, Mark 1. And I don't think the Bradleys are a good answer here. They're far too close, I mean those Toes could do well. And the M1s could do well if they just got close enough. So yeah, hide in the woods, let your tanks get up, and then take them out. But, ooh. Okay, nice Gurkhas. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Alright, so props to the Red 4 team there, that's going pretty swimmingly for them. And now we do have stuff moving up in Delta, so the Pathfinder's leading the way, Bokop, SASF behind him. That's what you want to see to really lock down that entire section, but this is going to be a slaughter. Yep, both the Bradleys going. It looks like uh, Sips is up to 435, closing the gap. So originally Red Sky was about 100 points in advance. And I know this is not exactly a, um, it's not a ranked game, but honestly I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean. I think um, if you do watch this and you are a bit of a newer player, um, you might be able to see some of the differences between these games and things like what Stealth posts, what Blitzwar posts, and uh, even what I post from time to time, although I've certainly had um, had my fair share of bad games as well. The, sp the fact that those two are spotted, yep, Thunderbolts, come on, keep them spotted. Push the Rifleman out, keep those guys spotted, you need to have that for the A10. One, two, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That closed the gap right there. Yeah, nice. So, I mean, <clears throat> it's a bit of a catch-22. If you have expensive stuff forward, it can get killed easily. On the other hand, people need to anchor sides with lots of heavy tanks and super heavy tanks, and I mean, they have the armor to take those frontal hits where this stuff doesn't. So, you know, do you put it up there and risk losing it or not? And, um, yeah, I mean, if you do and you lose it, that kind of sucks. On the other hand, if you have those tanks up there and they anchor the side like they did earlier against the M1A, uh, sorry, M1 Abrams and the Bradleys. So, I don't know, I think the Challengers almost paid themselves off, but not quite. And you can see that reflected in the points here as well, with Red Sky 665 to Mega 625, very close. Just those two, and that would be within points for a draw, uh, by the way, because I think it's, what is it, 10%? 15%? I'm not really sure. Uh, for a draw, I think it's 10%. Yeah, so, Rifleman, Here's another thing. If you have quad stacks of riflemen, it basically won't perform any different from two, unless you're sending them directly into town-to-town -to -town fighting, pretty much, because when they get caught out like this, it doesn't matter if there's one group or four. I mean, that's two groups dead. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's very expensive. It doesn't actually solve your problem. So you need to have more support. I mean, yeah, you're just gonna run to the Gurkhas here. Spend the points on something else. Bring a couple riflemen in a couple of transports and then get your fire support going up and forward and able to help out, because that was that was anti-air that was shooting at them. If you had any sort of armor here, um, 
I think that would go a lot better. Also, watch the IHawk. Good. Good, good, good. Turn it on. Turn it on, turn it on. That was the opportunity right there. Right when the Sea Harrier turns, that's your opportunity to get that kill. And then you don't have to worry about that seed plane for a while, and you get a fair number of points to boot. So, that was the opportunity there. A shame that that uh, didn't really take place. So, the K cars need to move over. You have SASF, you have Parapathfinders, that's all well and good, but you need to get auto cannons shooting out into these woods as well just to close the gap. Or some reckless rifle jeeps, some F FSV um, 90s, things like that. Some guns to really back this up. And South Africa has fast tanks, you have Ruakots, so that's certainly able to do it. Nice catch around here though. So there was a bit of a blip of infantry in these woods. Probably the ones that, um, I guess, took that spawn in zone and then kept moving. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So, yeah, I mean, weight of riflemen, but these Gurkhas paid for themselves, they really did, because it's 40 points of riflemen in each group, and they got more kills besides, and yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Riflemen can hold, M2A1 Bradley gets the kills, that's what you need to do, and you don't need four riflemen to do it. Inflict? Inflict? Don't see that every day. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Alright, well, I think that looks like it's going to be most of the game, as this does end here in a couple of seconds. Overall, I mean, well played. It's uh, It certainly went very well for Challenger at the beginning. Pretty good engagement there. South Africa's good at that right at the start, just getting all the guns way up farther than people expect. Um, if you had moved stuff forward in the middle zone earlier, that would have been even more overwhelming. So, thanks for the community cast. I always love commenting on these things. And uh, hopefully we can catch a game sometime soon, so uh, hop onto the Discord, give me a shout, and we'll set something up. Thank you uh, for hanging around, we'll see you again real soon.